Hey, this is Ryan Callahan, Director of Conservation for Meat Eater. I uh, just want to show you real quick the difference between my early season backcountry gear and my late season backcountry gear as far as like the minutia, the little stuff. Um, biggest difference early season to late season is early season I do not bring a stove. And if I'm not bringing a stove, I'm going to have a very lightweight plastic mug or cup. I'll even take the insulated portion off, but it still has a lid. The lid's really important because the last thing I do before I go to bed is I put uh, dehydrated coffee, instant coffee, um, taster's choice for cold brew. Okay, taster's choice to instant for cold brew. Put it in your cup, put the lid on, but I mean, fill it full of cold water, then put the lid on. In the morning, you're gonna have actually very tasty cold brew coffee. Then I just grab a bar and, and I go. Late season, I switch over to a metal mug that I can use next to the fire, use on top of a wood stove, or use on top of my backpacking stove. Um, same goes for knives. Early season, I'll have this skeletonized altitude, super lightweight knife. Um, this is like my very lightweight, I keep it really sharp, does a lot of stuff, but it's only gonna be used typically for like one animal on an early season backcountry hunt. Late season, I'll go to something that especially for like a late season cow tag or something like that um, where you're typically going out with other folks and you're going to be getting a lot more skinning in um, i'll go with something heavier so this kind of goes with this this goes with this um, the other thing early season since it's typically archery i'm going to take a work sharp sharpener even though this is like a substantial thing but it has a leather strop on it. It's got a diamond side. It's got a coarse side. Um, then it has your ceramic side. And this is an awesome, awesome tool for sharpening two blade broadheads and three blade broadheads if you get a little bit of practice in it. So, you know, with my uh, hippie bows here, I'm shooting stumps all the time. Um, so I wanna sharpen those blades, shooting grouse, shooting stumps. And then I have my blades that I just keep sharp um, and oftentimes, you know, after a couple of different backcountry trips, you get some dew and moisture in there and you can get a little bit of rust. This is a great tool for knocking the rust off of, and I'm saving a lot of weight by leaving the stove at home, leaving the fuel at home, um, and even leaving my metal mug at home. The other, the, especially for early season, when you're sweating and the days are really long, you're dumping a lot of salt. I find a powdered Pedialyte mix to be a huge, huge difference-making, game-changing thing to bring in. Like middle of the day, you start feeling dehydrated, even though you're drinking a lot of water, but it's hard to replace that salt, especially with, um, you know, some backpacking foods. But this is a good thing for like cramps and just like keeping your body hydrated, powdered Pedialyte. Um, those are really like kind of some gimmicky stuff. I'll switch over to like tin food versus dehydrated food early in the season because I'm again saving weight with the stove and the fuel. So those are uh, kind of a good glimpse on the small stuff that you may not be thinking of when it's uh, time to go early season and deconstruct your late season gear that you probably still have in your backpack from last season.